The three-stage Saturn V rocket used in the Apollo program was the tallest, heaviest, and most powerful rocket ever launched. At the base of its 363-foot height were five F-1 rocket engines, which used liquid oxygen and refined kerosene for fuel. This injector plate sprayed the liquid fuel into the ignition chamber of one of the F-1 engines, where it combusted and exploded out of the thrusters to lift the rocket off of the ground. The first stage of the rocket cut off when the spacecraft was at an altitude of about 36 nautical miles, at which point it was released and fell back to Earth. It landed in the Atlantic Ocean, where it remained for 45 years. This injector plate and other parts of Apollo program rocket engines were recovered from the ocean floor by a team led by Jeff Bezos and Bezos Expeditions. Most of the metal is deformed because of the impact to the water when it crashed back to Earth, um, and then also through uh, time just on the ocean floor, taking its toll on the uh, metal pieces. Extensive conservation treatment was done to uh, remove the salts from the metal, to uh, analyze it to make sure that it actually was dated to the Saturn V Apollo 11 mission um, and to get it to the point where we could display it safely in a museum. And so all of its features, uh, dense uh, movement of the metal, it's all exactly the way you would have seen it when they rescued it and um, able to be displayed now. Destination Moon, the Apollo 11 mission at Cincinnati Museum Center.